Greetings and welcome back. In the previous lecture, we created our project and then we installed Bolt and set up our windows here. So at least we're ready to start building some graphs. In this lecture, we're going to start by building a simple interface and a simple flow graph to begin modifying an interface. So we're basically going to have the name of our firm at the top. We're going to have cache, which will be an integer that we'll store. And then finally, we're going to have the current city, which for now we're going to represent as a string from a, a list of cities. And we'll see how to do that here in this lecture. So let's begin by first creating our firm name text. So I'm going to come here to right click, choose UI and text. Now we can do, it might not come in the same place for you. Just double click on it and it'll zoom in. And I'm going to change this to say bracket firm name. And I'm naming it this because I want to remind myself that this is going to actually be filled in with a variable. I'm not going to actually name the firm here. We're going to fill that in with a variable. And we're going to change the font size to 24. Let's go ahead and make it white so we can see it a little easier here. And um, let's center it. That'll make it easier. We know we want it quite a bit bigger because the firm name might be quite a bit bigger than our variable name here. So now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to bring it to the top. And I'm going to also name it up here firm name text because we want to name everything over here in our scene so that it makes sense. And then when we look at it, we know what we're referencing. So when I run this, just to show you, it's just going to show us a simple little label centered at the top. And we're going to load from a variable here to get that. And let's go ahead now and duplicate this and bring it over here. And I'm doing this just because we already have some of the attributes we want, like the fact that it's white. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to call this cache label. So this will be our label for cache. And I, so our text will look like this. So this we will change to be exactly what we want it to be. And we want it left the line maybe a little smaller like that. Probably didn't need to copy paste it. Didn't get a lot of value from that. But maybe we'll get a little more value out of this one when we duplicate this one. And we'll call this cache text. So labels, we'll just know when we see those that we're never going to really change them. But the text, we're going to reference it like a text object and will be manipulated by our program. So here I'm going to say that this is going to be loaded from the cache variable. And then finally, if I come here and duplicate, then come back in here and change this to say city text. So this will hold the name of our city. Actually, I'll say current city because this will be our current city text. And we'll move it down, make it bigger. And we'll call this current city and I'm not going to use underscores it's more of a Python thing people use underscores a lot more and then I'm gonna say current city label and drag this down here and we'll just say city all right so those are our main variables that we're going to be working with to get started for our first flow graph so I'm going to go ahead and, in the interest of having separate lectures, break the lecture here. This was just setting up the interface. In the next lecture, we will create our first flow graph.